Hello and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 15 with FS Panda Mushroom, episode number 7. Yay! If you were with us last time, thank you very much. And thank you for all subscribers and new subscribers. It's a great pleasure to have you with us. And a great honour for you to subscribe to me. The honour's mine, by the way, not yours. <laughs> no, it's very humbling to know that people come over and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for it. Thank you. Two and a half thousand. Ooh. Did I ever think I'd get to that many? No, I didn't, actually. But I am very grateful to you all. Thank you very much. So, yeah, it's the last episode. Harry done the two other fields, and he's over this way this time. He's going to do field 38 for us. Good on you, Harry. Top bloke. There you go. Uh, have at it, Harry. Have at it. Okay, let's just empty this over here before we go over. As I say at the beginning, it's a bit slow start, obviously, because you know you're working your way up and you're building your farm up. So I'm sorry to people that think it's slow, but we are farming. going to take us a fair chunk to probably get into wood and all that stuff so we've got to build up build up and build up more hopefully we should start selling some of our wheat because we've got a stonking amount of wheat now I'll have a check in a minute. After I take this over to our good old Ari, I'll get Sydney to start cultivating. Spin round in time. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Harry. I just busted up the front of his combine. Any dints? No, no, no. Sorry, dude. My fault. What a boss. Beats up his workers. Smashes their tractors to pieces. Well, combines actually. Abuse. See, I told you I, I, I'd get there with a whip. Also bust up his equipment. Well, it's my equipment really, but... Work, Harry. If not, I'll run over you. Oh, uh, sad. Go on in, Sydney. You're back from your lunch. Long lunch. Couple of days worth. Hope everybody's been well. Had a good time, you know. Been doing lots of things. Obviously it's approaching that, mm, you know, funny time of year. 
coldy and all wet and miserable and you know a bit like me really but can't you know apart from the wet bit but hopefully you're all nicely docked up I know uh, some of my friends over the water from us are just getting a bit gold for them and all stuff and soon maybe that nasty white stuff will start falling and yeah but some people like it some people like the snow and stuff like that and also it's getting towards that sort of jolly period where there's a um, person that comes down the chimney and gives you all nice presents and stuff like that time to get with your family and things like that and friends and have a good time and play farming simulator why not did he miss that trailer no. I thought he might have emptied it is he? is he? is he turning? Come Larry, what are you doing? You got stuck? Oh no, just turn around. Have to go sort him out. I'll be there in a sec, Harry. I'll be there in a sec. Just set myself up on this next snuffler line. Okay, Harry. Yeah, he must have missed it. I thought he'd pick it up. Gonna have to have a look at that. So what we do is we empty him, because you used to be able to leave your trailer at the end of the field and they empty it. Have they took that out in 15 then? Or was he too close? He might have been too close because it looks like we've got a hangover half. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Tell you what, I'll go now. Because he's still got some stuff in him. So yeah, I might I might have been too close to him. Leave this at the end of the field a second. Hang the trailer over a bit. See it here, old Harry, you come in. Come in, dude. Stick it out. Is he going to stop? No. He didn't. Mm -hmm. Is it the trailer? The position? Oh. Sorry then. I'm going to have to drive on the crops. Ooh. What's up with you then, Harry? Why don't you want to... Eat? 
It took him a long time to detect a tractor, to be honest. See, can you not do that in 13, uh, 15 then? Oh, see, I said 13. <gasps> oh. Oh, we're full. I say, I apologise going on to crops. Harry's fault. Come on, tractor. Go up the hill. Come on. I love it how they just <laughs> just stick a random tent in the middle of nowhere. Here's that beautiful house. Have we got a clock tower or something? A lookout tower or something? Sneaky, so I've not really looked at the house proper. I've had a quick goss round it, but I've not really studied it as such. But we will uh, might go and have a look at it. Proper, I know I've got a sauna in the back. After a hard day's farming, go in there, sauna away. The only thing is, you sauna too much, you'll shrink, wouldn't you, really? Let's have a quick, quick look round. We've got a dual garage, nice log cabin, I still don't, horses, whatever. Doors worn at the bottom, is that, did we have a dog or something scratching it? Nice house, we've got some lovely flowers at the nice stone stairs little table come out have a little snack yeah oh no it's a chimney oh well more like a stone oven or something to cook stuff out here or something whoa what happened there let me in, let me in. You seem to climb on stuff quite easy in this game, don't you? Don't know what you're climbing. They've got lots of doors. Doors everywhere. Hmm. See? A little trip round the house. Oh, and... God, because I've been doing that, Harry's full. Butterfly. Apologise if you hear stuff in the background. The missus is busy. Yeah, random tent stuck in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Okay. Trying to earn a few quid off campers. You like one of them horror films, though, wouldn't it? Eh? Camping in the middle of nowhere. Yetis come along and eat them. Pick their brains out with toothpicks or something. No, sorry. <laughs> oh dear. 
getting carried away though. Come on then, Harry. You're almost done, mate. You're in a cracking jobber. Halfway through. Well, you're just over half, actually. So, right. Let's see again. Let's park it not so much over this time. Might be because it's a single axle trailer, he might not pick it up so quick. No, he ain't having none of it, is he? He's going to pass it again, isn't he? Yep. Ah. Okay. Sydney's doing all right. We'll bring this one forward. Fill her up. Proceed. So what are we going to plant this? I might plant canola. Um, press R. Refilling. Yeah, I might plant canola because canola, you know, was a a good crop in 13 good price but the yields low so if you sort of work it out with either selling straw or you know the yield on wheat I suppose it levels itself out it's about the same to be honest but we will do a bit of uh, crop rotation so we'll press O on our cedar to select barley, we could do barley I suppose let's just have a look in the PDA, see what what's what at the moment taters, can't do taters we could do sugar beet but we got got no way of harvesting it we've got no barley or canola but the prices are about 1200 or I mean the price is on par barley with um, wheat to be honest in fact a bit more I tell you what oh, I'm gonna plant barley this time I think yeah Keep snuffling the straw. We'll have to go and empty Harry out in a sec. Keep it going. Make lots of monies. The next um, thing, I might go and have a look, see how much one of these fields are. Cause I mean, I could, I could sting herself and whack up to two hundred thousand on the loan, but then if we get into a bit of trouble for something, then we've got no leeway. I mean, I could go out and whack up the loan buy somewhere else I don't know we'll, we'll see, we'll see playing it by ear sort of thing mm. ok I'll go and empty this one before I take it over the other field. 
I reckon we might get a couple of uh, loads off the other field. Got half a load off this one. All helps, all helps. Hey, with the uh, price of barley being 700 ish. Hopefully next harvest. I mean, we sell sell the straw as well. I don't think the yields is good on barley. Um, I don't know. We should have probably kept a tally because we had some. We had some in the uh, warehouse, warehouse storage silo of wheat so we don't know exactly what we got off this harvest. All these lovely trees later on we can chop down and munch up and yeah have fun with. We've done a real good job with this. Uh, I, you know, I know I keep saying it, but you, you got to. They've done a nice job. They've just got to work on all the little bugs now. Make themselves uh, proud of. Well, I suppose they are proud of the game that they've put out. But they've got to iron out all the bugs then that will make it a really really good game and the modders come through and mod it and make it excellent expand the game no end then we can get a little mod and play away should be interesting to see what mods come through actually I know there's um, you're gonna get the fence and the uh, John Deere's and things like that I mean what's coming out at the moment are mainly um, conversions with the odd uh, new people oh, so they might not just be new people but um, new people to the game that are modern the uh, in-game tractors changing the colour um, hmm. I suppose it's a, it's a good way for them to start but I don't quite I suppose some people want them to change colours of tractors Giants have done it, so you know, fair dues to them, I suppose. Because you can pick on some tractors, you pick your own colour. I think you can pick your own colour trailers on some of them as well. So they're only following in Giants' footsteps, to be honest. Gotta learn somewhere, gotta learn somewhere. As long as they, uh, respect the previous modders if they use their mods then all is good because modders you know they deserve the respect they give us the toys to play with we should thank them for that uh, sometimes give them a hard time on the odd occasion but on a whole I respect modders they do a great job okay 
really cracking on. Whoa, almost a bit of slide there. Where are you, Harry? Let's empty Harry out. If we can get to him, can we get to him? How come he missed a little? Oh, it's when. He should have still picked that up. Naughty, Harry, naughty. Come on, start it, start it. Cool. I think he was starting. I thought he was going to stop on me then. Right, while you're emptying out there, mister, I will go and put Sydney. Go on, Sydney. You ain't, you've had a tea break a bit. You can come and do this field now. We'll crack the whip on you. You ain't um, oofing it down the road. This time, mister, I'm going to work you to the bone first. You've not got a name for this one. Uh, that's Bill from down the road, I think. I lent him Sydney, so he's come to give me a hand. I go and help him from time to time, so... All good. Look at all the trees. <laughs> I'm not going to do it, I'm not, because the way the logging is at the moment, um, yeah, it'd be a nightmare, but it'd be some achievement to chop every tree down on the map, wouldn't it? God, that'd be pretty awesome, to scalp the map of trees. Yeah, how many people wanted to do that on Egginstead? Uh, if they'd had the chainsaw there, oof. loads of trees would have come down on that one straight away. I think chainsaw would have been the f one of the first things to be brought on Agonistead. But, you know, it was a nice map. A lot of people didn't think so, but hey, and I've been uh, also doing Westbridge Hills because I'm going to use that as my mod review map when I start my mod reviews again. And it's been interesting playing that one. Um, it's, it's, it's almost like a, a new map, even though I add it in titanium, but it, it feels a sort of new map. One, probably because I didn't play it that much uh, in 13. But they've I mean, they're not changed that much, to be honest, but it just feels, feels different. Oh, I'm not going to get to your Harry, mate. Unless you take a long time. And I sort of go like this. Oh, interesting. I don't think I'm going to get the full load either. Ah, I'm going to have to empty a little bit out. It's great the way that 
grain fills up from where you fill it now, innit? Yep. Look at that. It's got that bit. A bit left to do. Don't know why you left that little strip there though. Don't know. All we do is we leave this trailer down by the yard actually. Um, and uh, Harry, you can take over from Bill. He, he's got to go home for his lunch. His missus has been on the phone. Give me earache. So, you take over from Bill, Harry. And I'll bring your combine back to the yard. things like that and all is good all is good so we're cracking along maybe a bigger cedar or I don't know I don't know whether to go for a bigger cedar or another field or we'll have to figure things out Figure things out. Can nip through this way to get to the road. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Just takes off for you sometimes, doesn't it? Got a little flashing lights on. take this back to the yard and uh, we've finished the episode there obviously we've got a lot done again we've, we've finished the harvest um, we're back on sowing cultivating big vicious circle But we're getting there, we're getting there. We'll sell our um, wheat. Maybe, maybe. Might get a bigger trailer. The only thing is, this one struggles with bigger trailers, this uh, combine. So um, we have to be careful on what combine to uh, get. What combine to get? Uh, what trailer to get? Duh. Come on, Panda, get a grip. Get a grip. Okay. What we do is we open it out. Drop it off there. Get in this one. Get ready to tip it. There you go, tip that. And we'll have a look, quick look, see what we've got in the warehouse. Warehouse. We've got 74,100 litres of wheat. Massive amount of this harvest, so that's cracking. All the lads there have done a great job. So yeah, great stuff, we're in a good position I think, a good position. Okay, this has been FS Panda Mushroom, thank you for watching and you take care, see you next time, bye.